What's going on my friends? This is Drew and I am up on my roof right now because I just want to show you real quick my solar setup because I get questions every once in a while like how do you guys run power because you're off the grid like look <laughs> I don't even have a cell phone signal up here so I'm gonna show you guys that so hang tight all right guys here's the panels I got two of these guys right here uh, these are 200 watts each and I got these from rich solar and so rich solar is actually really good I like their products so far. I actually have one of one of their batteries too, and I'm going to show you that So these are 200 watts each and that's what the maximum output is going to be Okay, so I have two of those that's 400 and then up here I have two of these 100 watt panels and these were kind of cheaper ones so the 100 watt ones I got those first and I got I think I got them at Costco or something and so when we were coming out here for a couple days at a time before we moved out here it was great because we started with just a couple like lead acid batteries like regular batteries you would use for like a boat or a car or something like that and just for the lights and the water pump in our camper that would last at least a couple days but once we stayed out here for more than a couple days i hooked those those two actually one or two at a time of those 100 watt uh, panels up to our batteries and it worked great but when we moved out here full time I knew ahead of time that we were going to need more of a setup so that's when I upgraded I got the two extra panels and then I got a lithium iron phosphate uh, battery that I'm going to show you in a little bit all right so since we're up here look there's uh there's Sasha down there <laughs> since we're up here I'm going to give you a panoramic view from the rooftop Okay, our vintage camper is underneath that. That's what we've been living in. And then we started building this roof above the camper. And then the roof project turned into, it's going to be a cabin. So it's still still work in progress. we got the frame done. And then we're working on the floor. Actually, this A-frame is pretty much ready to uh, put the roof on. So that is that. And so for right now, I just have the panels just on the edge over here. Um, their permanent resting <laughs> spot is still to be determined. I don't know if I'm going to make a big, uh, rack for them in the back or, I don't know, the pitch of this roof is kind of high, so, or it's kind of steep, so I don't know. We'll see. So, some of the things that we power, obviously we have a water pump inside. We have a few lights as well. We have our Starlink internet. That's how I'm actually talking to you right now. We also have a mini fridge that we don't use all the time. It's kind of like one of those small ones I'll show you. We have a 12 volt refrigerator, which is like kind of like for RVs, but it's portable. It doesn't use a lot of electricity and that's been great. I can turn it into a freezer if we need to. And then what else? Oh, we, you know, charge laptops and things like that. And... You know what we use almost on a daily basis is our Vitamix blender, which is like industrial blender, <laughs> if you know about a Vitamix. And that uses like, that can use like 1500 watts right there. So with this simple system that I've set up, we can run everything we need. When we do laundry for the time being, we run a generator, okay? But this summer, my goal is to have a lot more panels <laughs> and at least one or two more batteries so that even the, the washer and, and everything is going to run on solar. But um, for now, I mean, the generator, we use it pretty much only for power tools and for the washer. And eventually that's the generator is just going to only be for backup. So that's that. And there's our Starlink right there. And this literally pulled us out of the 1990s because to get a cell phone reception, I have to go to the top of that hill or the top of that hill over there so this really um i'm so glad it's available in our area because this really saved us it's pre it's pretty fast so i'm pretty happy with it and it doesn't use a lot of electricity all right guys so this is the inside of the control panel right here so as you can see this is the charge controller at the top and so this is where the two 200 watt panels so the 400 watts are coming into here and what this does is this keeps your system safe so it keeps it from overcharging because when those panels are in the sun they're just going to keep collecting energy and putting it into the system so what this does is it's going to put the brakes on if the battery gets 
uh, fully charged. Now, my other smaller panels, the two 100 watt ones are coming into these. I'm gonna switch this out. These are the, these charge controllers came with those panels, but I'm gonna switch those out probably this summer, get a better one along with the other panels. This right here is the inverter. So this is gonna take the direct current that's coming in from the solar panels and it's gonna turn it into alternating current. So DC to AC. So this is how you can like plug in your um, appliances and different things like that. Now, it's also good if you can hardwire some things in too. So what this is, this is a circuit box right here. And so you can actually hardwire things in. Like I got my water pump and lights hardwired into here. If I wanted to, I could hardwire the fridge and laptops, whatever, you name it. And it's actually going to be a lot more efficient if you do that because it doesn't have to go through here, right? I have all my fuses. It's very, very important to have fuses all along the way. That, that way, if there's any anything like a short or anything heats up, it's going to stop it right away and it's going to keep it from destroying <laughs> your whole entire system. This is my lithium iron phosphate battery. It's a 12 volt so um it's 200 amps per hour though which is pretty good and it's great for what we need it for uh, even on cloudy days like i have plenty of power for a couple days at least and yeah that's about it i'm gonna keep upgrading it i'm gonna get some more batteries this summer and this inverter is 2000 watts so i'm gonna upgrade that to at least three or four thousand that way we can be once we get more panels and more batteries i can actually run a lot more stuff at the same time but 2000 watts is really not bad uh, i can run all refrigerators and probably even use that blender sometimes all at the same time so uh yeah that's that and i'm always looking to upgrade this but i did this with no experience at all i learned everything on youtube and yeah i think it came out really great so that's the mini fridge that we run. And then uh, aside from that, we also have the 12 volt one that I have inside the camper. And then the camper actually has a propane refrigerator. So at any given time, we have two to three uh, mini refrigerators going. One of them I can turn into a freezer, plus this has a freezer. And look at it, it is about nine o'clock in the morning and the battery is about, eh, it's pretty full. So now with the sun a little bit higher in the sky we have no problem having a full battery i can use blender laptop have the two refrigerators plugged in even freezer and we have no problem with power right now so that's it guys that's that's our power setup for living off grid and like i said anybody can do it and if you're you know seasoned and you know about these things you know <laughs> go easy on me because i'm learning as i go but you know i've had people that actually know about electricity and stuff like that come out and they were kind of impressed by my setup and i literally learned everything <clears throat> on youtube so um, there's always room for improvement i would say but that is it guys that is how i get my power off grid and i'll keep you guys updated as i'm like growing the setup because like I said, uh, by this summer, I'm gonna, um, pl I plan to have a lot more panels and batteries and uh, yeah. So thanks for joining me and uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments, any feedback or anything like that, but much love and I'll talk to you soon.